Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. In today's video I would like to compare Philips pressure cooker or multi cooker and Tefal or Tefal um, pressure cooker or multi cooker. They are doing essentially the same thing, but I would like from my experience describe my frustrations with each of them and hopefully help you to make decision which pressure cooker to buy. There are other pressure cookers in the market but I think those are most popular maybe because of the quality, maybe because of the price but anyhow let's get going. By the way I just finished cooking in Tefal uh, uh, beef so I pressure cooked it and I deliberately purchased the cheapest and nastiest cut of uh, uh, beef because they're usually the toughest one. So after one hour and a half in the pressure cooker, it's totally uh, soft, gentle, and almost like falling apart. Beautiful taste. In that sense, they're both doing the same job. However, where is the first difference and frustration with this time with Philips? So frustration with Philips when you turn it on and you choose your function, uh, you need to set up timer how long to cook for. The timer in the Philips goes only up to 59 minutes. So for example, this beef, I need to pressure cook for one hour and a half. That means after an hour or 59 minutes, it will stop, beep, and I need to reset completely the whole system and choose extended time. In a Tefal cooker, you can choose your time by just rotating the knob. And I still don't understand what was the reason behind uh, Philips to limit people for 59 minutes because most of the cuts would be uh, uh, need to be cooked for more than an hour. That is my first frustration with Philips. That's where Tefal would be my first choice. So getting point for that. The second thing I know, those are not like-to-like uh, -like models. However, in the Philips of this model, I've got, I think, 5 liter bowl and in Tefal, 7 point something. So the cuts that would not fit in Philips fit in Tefal. I think they're another premium or better version of Philips, but it's a different price point, so I don't want to discuss it. So it's not a frustration. It's not that I would like to allocate point to Tefal, but Philips come with a, a smaller bowl and that is a problem for me. So I probably will keep both pressure cookers for smaller um, meals. I will use Philips and for bigger meals, Tefal, or maybe even uh, sell my Philips and, and, and stick with Tefal. Now, I would like to talk about a build and um, quality of materials. This is where Tefal, I think, wins hands down. Uh, let me explain what I'm talking about. Both of them actually are, are good um, build quality. However, with the Philips, after one year of use, there is a membrane here inside. As you may see, uh, after washing for a year the, and the cooking, the, it's made of uh, aluminum or aluminum, whatever country you're from, um, sound. But that start kind of uh, peeling and it's um, in aluminium world, it's a corrosion. So I'm quite shocked that they didn't use uh, stainless steel and membrane and uh, created better quality uh, lead. And also that membrane goes under. So everything is stainless steel, only this membrane. And you can see how it's getting kind of um, discolored and, 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 and corroding. So um, I'm not happy about that. I really hope that it does not create any uh, danger in the food that I cook, but that's a very big oversight from Philips. And um, let me show you what Tefal do in that respect. They have um, one stainless steel lid and the seal actually inside the ring here and sits very well. Another point for Tefal, uh, because Philips, after cooking, I will show you this membrane, 
seats here and you can see it's actually nice and snug right but after cooking when it's hot and you lift that membrane the the ring outside expanding and the moment you lift the membrane it actually falls out where it is a problem if you need to cook or stir something and then you need to put lid back on the moment you lift the whole lid from a pressure cooker the silicon ring falls out and it's all hot it's really uh, uh, hard to put it back on i think it's the biggest biggest uh, design oversight and this is where not only because of the material but also because of the trim this way tifal gets point for uh, each of those and um, at the moment um, as you can see i'm more leaning on tefal that it actually wins and most of the functions uh, and, and quality of build. Let's talk about um, <clears throat> clever function that Tefal um, presented here. It's a pressure release valve, which you just need to press button and it does it automatically when in the Philips you need to twist knob and regulate how much steam you would like to release. That is annoying and also in Tefal, the way it's released, you got a knob on top here, let me show this one, it's actually covering a uh, real uh, release valve, right? So nothing splutters out, it's kind of nicely covered. In Philips, when you open the valve, right, everything splutters out. It's actually create mess in, in the kitchen, so this is where um, Tefal gets another point for uh, uh, clever design. So basically when you release steam, you press the button and then it automatically releases slowly all the steam and when you finish you just press it again and it seals it again. So I think uh, Tefal put a lot of effort not only creating great appliance but also designing it better than its competitor, let's say Philips. Now I would like to show um, menus. It looks like Tefal is not as advanced it has only four buttons and a knob and Philips got all of those settings and all that. It's actually a downside because in the Philips the menu is uh, predetermined. You cannot choose much. So you choose a menu for how long to cook up to 59 minutes and then start button. When in Tefal, if you turn it on, first of all it greets you with hello, right? Then you would choose function that you would like to use, let's say uh, steaming. And then within that function, you will press timer and, uh, and, and choose, I think I need to close lid. Yeah, press timer and then choose how long you would like to cook for. And again, I would like to show that it goes beyond uh, 59 minutes that only um, the Philips Limited for. And then you even can delay start and set your temperature. So in my books, the design of Tefal is simpler to use and practical and yet much more versatile than Philips. So all in all, to be honest, um, the way to clean it, because so many parts here to clean, the, the food stuck like in all those valves and mem membranes and, and things. I, I personally like Philips, there's nothing wrong with it. But when you compare with something else, um, after cooking in Tefal, I think if I would buy today one or another, I would probably stick with Tefal. So uh, it's up to you what you choose to, uh, to buy. You can uh, buy literally any brand. But um, my point of my channel is to describe my experiences. I've got no affiliation with any of them. To describe my experience and actually help people to choose what to buy based on my experience and also describe how it functions. So uh, if you're interested in Philips or even in uh, Tefal, whatever it is, I'll put links down below. Um, by clicking on those links, subscribing to my channel, liking this video and even commenting, you're supporting my channel and for that I'm ever grateful to what uh, you do. Again, thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next time.